Hello everyone, uh, this is the ninth video of the series on previous year question papers of postgraduate entrance exam uh, related to biological sciences. Uh, let's start with the detailed solution of the year 2014 question paper of MSc Botany entrance exam uh, conducted by the Delhi University. So let's start with the first question. Uh, during ripening, apples and tomatoes turn from green to red because uh, so uh, ripened apples or tomato fruits have specialized carotenoid accumulating plastids called chromoplast. The chloroplast are present in green tomatoes and are then converted into chromoplast during fruit ripening. These chromoplasts show high rate of lipid metabolism. The green color was due to chlorophyll in plastids which now get degraded due to pH changes caused by the organic acid which are leaked from the vacuoles or by the action of redox enzymes or by the activity increased activity of the chlorophyllase enzyme so the answer to this question will be that during ripening apples and tomato turn from green to red because lipid synthesis increases in plastids next question protein folding and maturation occurs in the reducing environment found in the lumen of uh, so er or the we call as endoplasmic reticulum role in protein processing and sorting was identified by George Palladay and his colleagues in 1960. Uh, the ER is the site of protein folding, multi subunit protein assembly, disulfide bond formation, the initial stage of glycosylation or addition of glycolipid anchors to some plasma membrane proteins. Uh, so the answer to this will be the first one that is endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, you can see in this figure that uh, how the reductase is actually acting and how a reducing atmosphere is important uh, for the protein folding and maturation in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, the thyroredoxin reduction in the cytosol to disulfide reduction in the ER and is visible in the image. Also the misfolded ER proteins need to be reduced before targeting for destruction in the cytosol and the correct disulfide formation within the secretory pathway requires both disulfide bond formation and disulfide reduction. Hence, a reducing atmosphere is in in important in the ER. Next question, senescing plant tissues are rich in uh, dictyosome, glyoxysome, ribosomes, chloroplasts. So the answer is glyoxysomes. Let's read a little bit about this. The glyoxysome is a plant peroxisome, especially found in germinating seeds involved in the breakdown and conversion of fatty acids to acetyl-CoA for the glyoxylate bypass. The glyoxysomes are related to the microbodies or peroxisomes or derived from them on the basis of the presence of catalase. Uh, the pathway of lipid breakdown in senescence occurs partially in glyoxysomes associated with the beta oxidation of fatty acid and the enzyme of the glyoxylate cycle. Hence the answer is B that is glycos glyoxysomes. Next, in a car battery, the flow of electrons through wires has enough power to turn the starter. Okay. In chloroplast, the flow of which particles through ATP synthetase channels has enough power to phosphorylate ADP to ATP. So I am just showing you a figure in which you can easily see that the last one that is in the bracket which I have done is the ATP synthase channel and through which a proton is moving. Uh, causing a conversion of ADP to ATP hence the answer to this question will be C that is protons. Next question in C4 plants which enzyme perform the critical reaction of converting carbon dioxide to 3-phosphoglycerate. Uh, so in C3 plants the fixation of CO2 by the enzyme Rubisco into 3-phosphoglycerate is the first step of light independent photosynthesis step. Uh, now we know that Rubisco has both carboxylase and oxygenase activity and this activity like what activity it will show is depending upon the abundance of that particular element that is a compound sorry uh, that is if carbo carbon dioxide is in abundance then Rubisco will act as a carboxylase or if oxygen is in abundance then Rubisco will act as a oxygenase. Uh, so this uh, Rubisco has both carboxylase and oxygenase activity that results into part of the substrate being oxidized by energy consumption. The process is known as photorespiration. So to prevent this in C4 plant the CO2 is fixed into 4 carbon compound malate or aspartate in the mesophyll cell and later transported to bundle sheet cell through plasmodesmal connections. 
where they again yield CO2 that is carbon concentrating mechanism is happening here so that they provide more abundant CO2 to Rubisco and hence it can act as a carboxylase uh, which uh, finally will be acting again in the C3 cycle first step where it, is, it will be converting the CO2 to 3-phosphoglycerate. So the answer to this question will be RUBP carboxylase. Next question, a theoretical Michaelis Menten plot for the Km and velocity of, an, of any enzymatic reaction is a. So we know that it is a rectangular hyperbola, it looks like this and in this the Vmax is the maximum velocity or rate at which the enzyme catalyzes a reaction. It happens when all enzyme active sites are saturated with the substrate and Km is the concentration of substrate which permits the enzyme to achieve half Vmax. Next question, which of the following protein is not a component of the plant cytoskeleton? So this is a very easy question because we know that myosin, microtubule and motor protein are protein in nature while uh, myelin is actually a fatty substance. It is a lipid rich fatty substance uh, that surrounds the nerve cell exon to insulate them and increase the rate at which electrical impulse are passed along the exon. Uh, in general, each exon comprises of multiple long myelinated sections separated from each other uh, by short gaps called nodes of Ranvier. Uh, and uh, the myelin is actually formed in the central nervous system by glial cells called oligodendrocytes and in the peripheral nervous system by glial cells called Schwann cells. Uh, and the important thing is that the discontinuous structure of myelin sheath results in saltatory conduction whereby the action potential jumps from one node of Ranvier over a long myelinated stretch of the exon called the internode before recharging at the next node of Ranvier. Uh, so um, uh, I think the uh, people from life science who have already read uh, zoology in, the, in their graduation uh, might be uh, relating with me. Uh, so let's go to the next question. Which of the following membrane protein is associated with vesicles that move towards the endoplasmic reticulum? So the answer is COP1. Let's read these three kinds of membrane protein. Uh, so COP1, COP2 and clathrin are protein codes responsible for vesicular movement across the secretory pathway of the cell. COP1 codes vesicles transporting proteins from the cis Golgi back to RER and between the compartments of the Golgi. Uh, this is called as retrograde or backward transport and COP2 coats vesicles transporting protein from the RER that is a rough endoplasmic reticulum to the cis Golgi. This is called as anterograde or forward transport and clathrin coat protein has various functions for example endocytosis and vesicle trafficking or, tra trafficking or transport to endosomes and lysosomes. So the answer to this will be COP1 because the, the question has asked that the which of the following membrane protein is associated with vesicles that move towards the endoplasmic reticulum. So the answer is COP1. Next question. Uh, in this question, they uh, are just giving you some facts and then they are asking the oxidation state of ammonium. Although they should have asked the oxidation state of nitrogen in ammonium, uh, which can be easily calculated by this method. That as we know that uh, ammonium ion has a plus one charge uh, and also we know that a hydrogen atom have plus one charge. So uh, since there are four hydrogen atoms, so the plus four charge will be there. But since ammonium ion is showing a plus one charge, therefore the out of the plus four plus three charge are being utilized by minus three charge of the nitrogen. Hence nitrogen has an oxidation state of minus three and hence C is the answer. Next question, assimilated nitrogen is transported from the roots to the shoot via the phloem as. Uh, so nitrogen is transported in the form of nitrate dissolved ammonia and organic compounds such as asparagine, glutamine, glutamic acid, aspartic acid, homocerine, uh, R-methylene, glutamine, citrulline and urates such as allantoin and allantoic acid. Urates are very common and very major part of the uh, uh, transported nitrogen form. Uh, so the answer to this will be all of the above, allantoic acid, glutamine and citrulline. Uh, so let's read a little bit about this. Redu re reduction of absorbed nitrate to ammonia mainly occurs in shoots and only a small fraction is reduced in roots. Uh, the glutamine synthase glutamate synthase that is GS cogat pathway is responsible for the incorporation of ammonia uh, both absorbed and synthesized into amino acids. Next question embryos of germinating rice seed that grow under flooded condition perform. 
so we all know that the embryos when they are uh, of germ or the germinating rice uh, rice seed uh, when they are in flooded condition they uh, perform anaerobic respiration so but uh, option c will be correct that is facultative anaerobic respiration because facultative anaerobic means that they are actually aerobe but started behaving temporarily as anaerobe due to o2 deficient condition in water logged or flooded areas next question uh, the synthesis of atp by chemi osmotic phosphorylation occurs when proton flow from so the four options are given uh, you can just see this figure uh, and in this figure also i have just uh, kept the box on the specific place where, where from where the question has emerged uh, so you can see that the um, protons are uh, flowing from the intermembrane space or the cristi to the matrix of the mitochondria uh, and hence the option uh, b that is the cristi lumen to mitochondrial matrix will be correct uh, next question ecotype is uh, so an ecotype or eco species is a population or subspecies or race that is genotypically adapted to a specific environmental condition prevailing locally an ecotype may differ phenotypically but are capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring so the option uh, c that is ecotype is a genetically adapted ecological race is correct next question the factors involved in formation of new species are uh, so factors affecting speciation or formation of new species are natural selection geographical isolation genetic drift and mutation and reproductive isolation that is the uh, the option 4 will be correct that the factors involved in the formation of new species among these option will be four that is uh, the fourth option that is isolation and mutation next question migration is uh, so the answer is very direct uh, migration you know that emigration or immigration so it is a two way departure and re return of all the individual of a population uh, they grow from one place or the, their native place uh, to another new place during unfavorable condition uh, in search of a favorable condition and when the, uh, their native place again gets a favorable condition then they come back uh, it, it is a very uh, common method among uh, migratory birds so for uh, this video i have two questions for you uh, for asexually reproducing organism geographic and reproductive isolation is not a factor for speciation why and what is the top down effect due to migration so these two questions are like kind of your homework and if you know the answer or if you want uh, if you explore the answer on the internet and you get the answer you please uh, give your answer in the uh, comment of this video next video uh, we will be dealing with the question number 136 to 100 for 150 and this will be the last video of this uh, 2014 question paper uh, if you have any doubt in the solution from this video please do comment and please like the video and do comment and subscribe to appreciate my work and stay tuned for more upcoming solution videos of various msc entrance exams related to biological sciences